And before I get into today's very important lecture, I just want to thank all of my subscribers and my viewers and my members and supporters for supporting my channel. You know, my channel, I got up this morning, my channel now has reached well over 206 plus thousand uh, subscribers. And none of that would be possible without all of my supporters. So I really do want to thank uh, everyone for that. And so with that being said, let's get down to actually this is an, a reminder, an announcement about a very, a, a very important live stream lecture that I'm going to do Saturday, March the 2nd, beginning at 11 o'clock. I'm going to do that lecture from 11 to 12, one hour. And the focus of that lecture is going to be the legal process that must occur before you submit your manuscript to any publisher. You know, if the artist is aware of my book title, Await Financial Freedom, you know, I went through a rural renowned publisher, Page Publishing. You know, my book hit all major bookstores well over two years ago. So, uh, and there are so many benefits when your book is backed up by a, a, a rural renowned a, a publisher. You know, and you can tell if an author has gone through a publisher, you can take any book, any book anywhere, and when you turn that book over, the first two things that you're going to see is the barcode, and then next to the barcode, you're going to see the logo of the publisher. So, uh, and that's how you can tell if an author has gone through a publisher. If you don't see a logo, then what that means is that they self-published. And there are so many benefits when you go through a publisher. You know, they're trying to the sales. They do that through the barcode. You're getting your, your royalty checks every quarter. Uh, so it's just so many benefits that are uh, in terms of when you go through a publisher to publish your work. Uh, so what, uh, what I'm going to do is on Saturday, I'm going to talk about that legal process. I'm going to go into detail about this legal document that must that must be in place uh, and this legal document is from the publisher this document must be in place before you submit your manuscript this is still my original copy of my manuscript but there is a legal process that must happen on the front end before you submit that manuscript to any publisher in order to protect your work. You know, and I'm not talking about copyright laws. I'm talking about protecting the manuscript because the book ain't published. The manuscript ain't published yet. So you want your original work protected by a legal process. And if that legal process is not in place, then many things can happen. Excuse me. Many things can happen. A person can steal your work and present it to a publisher and they can get credit for writing your manuscript. You know, there have been so many uh, authors who have been uh, ripped off from their original work because they fail to have this legal document in place on the front end, on the front end before that publishing company lay eyes on your manuscript. And then once the manuscript, if it's accepted and that publishing company uh, uh, go into a contractual agreement to publish your manuscript into a finished book. And then that's where the copyright laws come into play. You know, there's a copyright laws to protect people from anyone still in their work. But we're talking about on the front end before. Because your manuscript, if your manuscript gets stolen, it's your work if you ain't got this in place. So you need to tune in Saturday, March the 2nd, 2024. I'm going to let you for one hour and I'm going to be ready to get down to business. I'm here to tell you. So mark your calendar, share this information. You know, there may be people who may have a desire to uh, get a children's book published, to get their poetry published. They may be working on a manuscript and they might not be aware 
of that powerful legal piece of paper that must be in place to protect your work. And I'm here to tell you. So that's all I have. And again, I want to thank all of my supporters, my subscribers. My channel has reached well over uh, 206,000 plus subscribers. And I have seen phenomenal growth uh, in my channel in all areas it, it, for the past few months, especially when I took that guided tour as a content creator to see one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Check out a lot of my live footage on that spiritual journey and I made a lot of Egyptian connections. I'm getting a lot of support from my Egyptian uh, connections, my subscribers, and I'm seeing growth in my channel in all areas, views, subscribers, watch hours, financial remuneration, all the way around and I'm here to tell you. So that's all I have, Simplify, Simple Fidelis, and I'm gonna leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great day.